All right, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to disable any command in your Minecraft server. So chances are there that if you're running a public Minecraft server, you don't want people to just be able to do slash plugins to see your full plugin list or do slash version to see the version you're running on. Now these are things you can all disable very easily inside of a Minecraft spigot or paper server. And today... I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. Anyways, before we start, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like on this video. Also check if you're subscribed to the channel. My analytics shows me that most people watch my videos are actually not subscribed. Even though it would really mean a ton, you would help me out a lot. And you can always unsubscribe in the future if you change your mind. And then without any further ado, let's dive right into this. So like I said before, it's extremely easy to disable commands inside of a Minecraft paper or Spigot server with just installing a simple plugin. Now I believe there is a way to disable commands without adding any plugins at all. Though I find it somewhat complicated. And there is a plugin that does exactly the same thing. The nice thing about the plugin is that you will most probably already have it on your Minecraft server if you're running any plugins at all. Because the plugin we're gonna be using is Lugberms. Now you're probably already using Lugberms on your Minecraft server or maybe another permissions plugin. But if you're running a Minecraft server that has installed multiple plugins, then the chance is very high that you already have Lugberms or another permissions plugin installed. Otherwise, default players that don't have OP on the server will just not be allowed to do much. With Lugberms you can give people permissions to do something. So for example, if you have Essentials X installed on your server and you want people to actually do slash set home and slash home, then you will need a permissions plugin to manage that. Otherwise only people that have OP on the server will be able to do it. Now if you're curious on how to set up permissions on your Minecraft server, I will leave a link in the top right corner of the screen right now. You can check out my Lugberms tutorial there. But for this video I will just assume that you haven't installed the Lugberms at all and still you want to disable some commands on your minecraft server so let's say you're just running a vanilla server with absolutely no plugins so you don't need a permissions plugin that badly but still you want some commands to not be accessible then i'm going to show you how to disable those right now so the first thing you want to do is download lugperms from lugperms.net now a link to lugperms.net will be in the description of this video of course after clicking on the link you will come to this page just go to the download button in the top right corner over here big download button and just click on it and after that you have to choose a server type now like i said this plugin needs to be run on a minecraft paper or spigot server paper and spigot are both forks of bucket so you just want to go here and download the bucket one it also says paper and spigot right here so just click on it and there we go download complete now after you're done downloading just open your server folder if you're hosting your micro server at a micro server hosting company you will have to go to the ftp files now after opening your ftp files or going to your server folder you will have to look for the plugins folder and after that just upload or drag the file in just like this then restart your server now after restarting your micro server you want to go to the console or if you have op in game you can also do this in game but what you want to do is type lp editor just like this then press enter and lookperms will send you a link so we can just copy this link and then open it in our web browser and this is what you will see so this is the lookperms online editor and through here you can create new groups add permissions to groups and put people inside of groups though you can also do that way easier in game so what we want to do now is we want to edit the default group in this case so everybody that joins the server for the first time will go to this default group now over here at the bottom you can actually add permissions but we're not gonna add any permissions we're gonna remove permissions still we're gonna add them but we just have to give them a negative value so for example if we type version then you will have bucket.command.version so if you type slash version you will see the version the minecraft server is running on so if i type slash version you will see something like paper and this is the version of paper we're using and all that kind of stuff well let's say we want to disable that you can just click here on bucket.command.version then what you want to do is set the value to false the value over here just click one time and it will say false after that just click on the add button and there we go now i think the most important one that people want to disable is slash plugins because many server owners just don't want people to sneak into their plugins folder and see every single plugin that they're using so we can also easily disable that we're gonna type plugins just like this bucket.command.plugins then we're gonna change the value to false and we're gonna add it just like that after that we're gonna click on the save button up here just on save and it will give you a command now you want to click here to copy this command 
just like this. Then you want to go back to your console or if you have OP, you can also do this in game. Just paste the command here. If you're doing this in the console, you want to remove the slash because you don't have to put slashes in because it is the console. So just remove the slash and then press enter. Now let's go back in game and test it out. So here we are in game. Now the reason I did all that stuff inside of the console is actually because I don't have OP on this server. So after doing that editing in loop perms and applying the changes to this server, as soon as I type slash plugins, you can already see it, it's just, no, it's not working. I'm sorry, but you don't have permissions to perform this command. Please contact the server administrator if you believe that this is an error. Same thing goes for version doesn't work. Also PL, people say like, oh, you also need to disable slash PL. No, if people don't have access to the plugins command, they will also not have access to the PL command. So this will also just not work. Just every single way you would want to make this work. It just, it just doesn't work anymore. It is plugin, plugins, PL, it all doesn't work. You have successfully disabled a command. Congratulations. Now this is of course especially handy if you want to disable people from looking into your plugins folder. Of course this can have many more use cases. In theory you can put every single command in there and give it a negative value so that people can't use it anymore. Now the thing about the permissions plugin is that if you don't add a permission then they won't be able to use it. But for use cases like this where some plugins don't need permissions to actually work it can be an extremely handy way to disable them. Anyway, Anyways guys, that's gonna be it for now. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, not subscribed yet and you're enjoying the content, make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. And then guys, that's gonna be all for now. Have a great day. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments of this video. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.